Hello, my name is Stephen Cook, a solution architect at DocuSign. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how to utilize DocuSign's document generation API. I'll do a quick demo, followed up with an explanation of the behind the scenes code to make the call out of Salesforce and what that looks like. So let's get into it. All right. First, let's talk about Gen for Salesforce, which is our pre-built integration, which allows for document generation directly out of Salesforce with just a simple button click. But there are some scenarios where people who don't have a DocuSign account, like a customer or a partner, need to generate documents. And that's something where you can use the DocGen API in order to accomplish this. So for this example, I'm a customer, I'm somebody who doesn't have a DocuSign account, but I still need the ability to create documents, review them, and that's something I can easily do by simply clicking this button, which behind the scenes is making an API call to DocuSign, returning that document, and storing it back into files. So here we can see that generated document with all the merged information from a Salesforce record, even a dynamic table from the product list. All right, now let's take a look at behind the scenes on how this is being accomplished. So I've created a Salesforce class and part of that class is a few methods. First one is to allow this to be called from a flow, which needs to be in list form. So the first step is calling this method from a Salesforce flow. Here we can see that Apex action. Once that's done, we are calling the gen and convert method. And part of that method is I'm using name credentials to authenticate so that these customers, partners, people without a DocuSign account can create these documents. And I'm calling the gen and convert endpoint. So that endpoint really needs three parameters. What do we want that output document to be? What is the data? And what's the template that we're going to merge that data into? Now, first step here is I need to create that message body. So I am calling this other method here, which is first grabbing that template document based off of the content document ID here, which we can see here is that template document. That's being converted to base64, added to the body, but also grabbing the data. So here we can see the data JSON. I am calling this opportunity record method, which is grabbing the information and then creating the actual message body. So here we can see different information is being pulled in, like the ID, opportunity name, amount, even related list to which we will then create a dynamic table from. So that the end result is the document generated, which is then being stored back to that Salesforce record so that the users can view and do what they need from it. I'll include in the description a link to the sample class, sample data, and sample template as well for reference. So you can use this as a starting point all right, let's do a quick review here. So for those of you familiar with Salesforce, you're probably aware of the integration that allows sending documents for signature, but we also have the ability to generate documents from any record. And it's pretty robust in terms of what the engine can do. You can merge data directly in line into documents, create dynamic tables from lists, conditionally add or remove information, based on certain things like if a product was included or a state-specific form needs to be generated. 
even group product lists to make them easier to understand. Now, this works great for the majority of scenarios, but if you want that same functionality from your own systems, we also make our document generation endpoint available via API so that you can build this into any system and really automate things even further. Now, you're probably wondering why would I use DocuSign Gen for Salesforce versus DocuSign DocGen API. And there are still some scenarios where you would use DocGen API instead of the pre-built Gen for Salesforce integration. For your scenarios where you need to allow customers, partners, or someone who doesn't have a DocuSign account, the ability to create documents self-service, this is going to be possible via DocGen APIs, but not Gen for Salesforce. And that's really the example that I just walked you through there. Somebody from an experienced cloud site, no DocuSign account, need to be able to create documents. Now, that's one example of how to automate things further. But if you also want to schedule generation as well, like end of month invoicing, that's something you can do as well. You may want to trigger the creation once different criteria have been met, like a quote has been approved internally. Or maybe you want to click a button in Salesforce that doesn't start from a standard Salesforce record page. That's something you can still do utilizing our APIs. And really, when you think about document generation, it consists of two pieces, the template document and your data which are then combined and returned as a generated document. All right, thanks for watching. And for more information, please reach out to our sales team. I've also included some helpful links and resources in the description, including the Apex code used for the demonstration. Thanks everyone.